Let's at least agree to, to stop babies that could feel pain being ripped apart in the womb. Okay, right? And then they're like, no! <laughs> So the segment I want to get into before, oh and now gosh. people are going to talk about the Green Deal, the Green New Deal. I didn't have oh, time to read through all of it before it's insanity, this though. show. It does seem pretty insane. And, and it does lead me to the point that I do want to discuss tonight, why I believe that President Trump is going to be reelected. And the main reason for this is that Democrats keep giving him gifts. Right? So how, I, they, they, they wonder, like, how he won in the first place. You hear that a lot. Yeah. Like, how did Donald Trump, how could he have possibly won? And how could he possibly win again? I'll tell you exactly how. <laughs> The left continues to give this man gifts. It, it, he really is. There's like a Chauncey Gardner effect. He's not necessarily doing everything right. They're just doing yeah. everything wrong. And yeah. He looks brilliant by comparison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I think, do think that the State of the Union, which occurred this week, showcased exactly what I'm talking about, just how far left the DNC has gone. And by the way, this is something that's important to note. 70, per, uh, 70 is it 76? 76, 76 yeah. percent of Americans approved of the speech. Wow. What's really bad for Democrats is that 81% of independents approved Gosh, of the speech. Wow. I think That's we have overlays from this yeah. from, from, from YouGov. And uh, the more that the, the left continues to push their, their agenda toward the left, the Democrats, I should say, pushing their agenda toward the left, the more likely it seems that these independent voters who, who everyone said Trump just has this ceiling. Right. He has this ceiling and it's yeah. his base. Well, the truth is his base, actually, those are the people who had the biggest problems with President Trump. We'll get into those in a second. It seems like the independents, actually the people in the middle, are really starting to thaw on the guy. Yeah. And he had 81% <laughs> of them to support the reality show guy. Yeah. Like, think about this for a second. How badly must you screw up that the guy who is literally trademarked, you're fired, yeah. is beating the crap out of you? <laughs> Let's go through kind of four examples. I think this is one that's really important recently, uh, late-term abortion. So here's a clip where President Trump uh, called for legislation to end the late-term abortions, and he mentions Northam's discussion of killing babies after birth. This is an important clip for people to see. Here you go. Yeah. To defend the dignity of every person I am asking Congress to pass legislation to prohibit the late-term abortion of children who can feel pain in the mother's womb. Yeah. There are people who refuse to stand at that. Yeah, Think yeah. about this for a second. You're an independent. You're watching. He's going, let's at least agree to, to stop babies that could feel pain being ripped apart in the womb. Okay? Right? And then they're like, no. <laughs> You're going to sit on your hands for that? <laughs> Yeah. Do you have any idea how the optics look? And here's something that's really important. I think maybe you guys aren't necessarily, because you weren't really like political junkies in the last election, mm -hmm. and I know you'll vote in the next election, but Trump, by the way, was pro-choice. Yeah. Up until yeah. he ran as a Republican, effectively. And conservatives were really le they were really leery of him oh, yeah. because of that, right? Yeah, we didn't Remember think he was conservative. They didn't think he was conservative. No. And so Donald Trump found himself in a pickle in the primaries, uh, particularly because he had to appeal to his base, right. the conservatives. Right. He had to prove to them that he was pro-gun, that he was pro-life, yeah. while still appeasing moderates. And that's hard to do when they think that you can't win over either of them. Now, again, the Democrats have given him a gift... And that he can do, a, he can now appeal to his pro-life base and even to moderates who just don't want to see babies being born alive killed. All he has to say is, "Hey, hey, a forty-week-old baby being chopped to the head, bad." And he wins exactly. everyone who's not Cortez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. all that's required. Think about that for a second. Yeah. You, All the Democrats had to do was say, hey, most Americans are relatively pro-choice because it's a term that we created to trick them and some of them are stupid. So let's go with that. And instead they said 40-week abortions, right? 40 weeks? And Donald Trump was, I'd call your bluff. Shh. <laughs> so another example here <laughs> where the left has lost all ground is uh, pushing for, for open borders. So in the State of the Union, Trump mentioned ICE rescuing women and children yeah. from sex traffickers. Watch what... Uh, I mean, Ocasio, Nina, Pinta, Santa Maria, Cortez uh, refuses to clap for, for this. Here's the clip. More than 1,500 sadistic traffickers have been put behind bars. This is just like, that's, everyone is clapping. Yes. You should be. Look, you got people on the right and the left. Wait, wow. what? Stone Cold Face. Should How should I, should I, I'll get out, I'll get out, I'll get out. I'll get out. That's insane. 
I'll get up but, for, wow. the se- for stopping sex slavery. I don't like him, but I'll go up like, that's you just handed him a gift, by the way. They were wearing white for women's rights. <laughs> <laughs> you got to clap if you're wearing white for women's rights. Alexandria like Ocasio-Cortez, who are you wearing? I am wearing white for women's rights, except all the underage hookers against their will. I'll see you at the halftime show. And, and here's the thing, uh, not even talking about the sex trafficking, okay? That's yeah. one that, again, if you just, you have to play Play the game in politics. Everyone knows us a little bit. We don't like it, but yeah. when someone says ending sex trafficking, even if you go, well, hold on a second, I know that Cortez, when she's talking about ending yeah. sex trafficking, is actually attached to the Green New Deal bill, and that's actually mm-hmm. about 70% tax, so right. I don't like it, but she did say end sex trafficking. All right, I'm going to clap <laughs> just because right. of the optics, exactly. and I'll talk about yeah. it later. They didn't clap at that. But if you go even further into the issue, a new CBS poll shows that 72% of Americans agreed with Trump specifically on immigration anyway. Here's them saying it. Just in uh, from our CBS News uh, instant poll here following the president's State of the Union, 76 percent of speech watchers said they approved of what they heard. Hmm. That's, I'm very surprised. That's a large percentage there. Hmm. I'm very surprised that any of these percentages are true. That's why I had well, to play that clip well, so you would believe that I'm not just saying it. Here's a, here, let me just paint a picture for you. Just a moment here, okay? I'm trying to actually wrap my head around this. They fact check. <laughs> it's really him. hard to do. It's like when they fact check Donald Trump, there where he said we we had burgers stacked a mile high at the White yeah. House. They're like, actually, he did not have burgers <laughs> stacked feet, a mile actually. high. As Three a matter feet. of fact, they were placed in more of a horizontal spread. Really, <laughs> one couldn't account for the vertical <laughs> metrics because of the buttons and depending on the temperature of the room. It's like you're a. <laughs> exactly. But think about this for a second, okay? The guy who said you could do whatever you want, you could grab by the p-ty and disgusted a whole nation, now has the moral high ground because you've decided to vilify him because he's against sex trafficking and he had the number off by 2%. Yes. You've given him a gift. <laughs> Another and, one. And you couldn't possibly make it easier for him. Now everyone forgets about the grab by the p-ty. And you go, actually, that 33% of people who are uh, raped when they try to get here against their will, it's 31%. You better get in line, President Trump. But all he needs to say is, you're a piece of shit. And they're like, you know what? I kind of am. Yeah, let me yeah, just walk right. out this door here. I should almost be prioritizing the women who are being raped. <laughs> Here's the uh, second example before we get to the prime example. Uh, the left, of course, is pushing socialism. This is another reason I think President Trump is going to to win. They're outright pushing it. Remember when it used Huge. to be veiled? Yeah. Where they used to, like, when people said, we think that Barack Obama is kind of a socialist. Right, like, yeah. Socialism is actually, uh, it's a dog whistle. It's, it's the N-word is what <laughs> it means. Yes. Remember when yes. they said that? It's like, yeah. no. It's no, no, not. we think he's a socialist. Like, by the way, there are people in, there are people like in Norway who are socialists too. They're not black at all. <laughs> They're actually like really white and really strong for some reason. We have no idea as to why yet. We're still running some genetic <laughs> testing. But we actually think that Barack Obama is like a Norwegian socialist. That's it. No. <laughs> Trump just said that we're never going to be a socialist country. And look at who refuses to applaud. Here you go. Socialism in our country. Yeah, boo. America was founded on liberty and independence and not government coercion, domination, and control. We are born free. Hey, and wait, we for will it, stay wait for it. Free. Wait for it. Wait for it. Sounds good. Freedom. Sounds good. Sounds Here great. Comes. Wait. 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 Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit! They have a close-up! <laughs> I should have anticipated this and not planned poorly my afternoon nap! Cortez, where were you? You were my number two. I just, like, <laughs> that's just one of the at... best zoom in close ups in the history <laughs> yeah. of presidential speeches. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks like, he looks like Grumpy Cat had sex with a crazier, older Grumpy Cat. Let's think about it. Current Democrat, the stars of the Democratic Party, Bernie Sanders and Acacio Nina Pinta Santa Maria Cortez. These are the stars. Yeah. They're actual socialists. She actually thinks that she's going to pass some kind of 70% tax. I don't oh know. Gosh. She explained it somehow. The notion of socialism to that particular regime, how you, what do you think about the president and why he did that? Well, I think, I think that he needs to do it because he feels like 
he feels himself losing on the issues. Every what? single she policy the other that, that, that right? we have adopted and presented to the American public has been overwhelmingly popular, <laughs> even some with a majority of Republican voters supporting what, what, supporting what we're talking about. When we talked about a 70% marginal tax rate on incomes uh, over $10 million, 60% of Americans approve it. No, what? 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 Just, a majority of Republicans support socialism. <laughs> What? I thought this was well known. Hey, you, person next to me, is this well, it's not well known? I don't know what I'm saying, Chris Matthews. <laughs> she probably went to Watts or something. <laughs> Does that, let's be honest here. Oh my gosh. Do we have to act like that sounds like an intelligent woman? No. Do we have to pretend? It's like, here's the thing, Nancy Pelosi doesn't sound like an idiot. I, I think she's wrong. I think yeah. she's the only person in politics who's proactively evil, but she doesn't sound like an idiot. <laughs> Hillary face? Clinton doesn't sound like an idiot. No. no. This girl sounds like a moron. <laughs> think about socialism. No matter how great you think the government is at giving you free stuff, uh, people still don't want higher taxes. Is that what the prank calls this week where we called black businesses? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I, would it make you more or less likely to support Governor Northam than he supports increased taxes? Mm, 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 mm. I don't want to pay more taxes. No, man, no. I want, like, the opposite of this. I think the greatest example, of course, of the gifts that the left has been, they've been giving Donald Trump, and I hope they do it again in 2020, is um, they ran Hillary Clinton in a general Aww. election. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Likely the one person Donald Trump was capable of beating at that time. <laughs> Trump pulled very badly for people who forgot this leading up to the election. Almost every single pollster yeah. got it wrong because he was polling so badly. And he's been receiving nothing but hostile media coverage since. Here's the thing. The choice in 2020 is very different from 2016. You were not a Trump guy. Nope. And I was not a Trump guy in the primaries. No, we argued about it. We argued about it because I remember saying, well, listen, if he does win, you know, he's going to be the guy at that point. But I, 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 it wasn't my guy. I liked Carly yeah. Fiorina. I liked Ted Cruz. Yeah. So the choice, though, in 2020 is very different from 2016. 2016, yeah. a lot of people thought that both Hillary and Trump were kind of taking us toward a cliff. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Ben Shapiro summarized it as, as, though the concerns of many, by the way, he said, the fear was that if Trump got into office and he did a bad job, it'd be like we're heading toward the cliff just as we'd be heading toward the cliff with Hillary Clinton, but with Donald Trump, there would be no break. Right. Because no Republican would be elected after Donald Trump if he did as bad of a right. job as, that many people anticipated, myself included, in the primaries. I right. remember saying, like, I do, I think we deserve to lose if we run him in the primaries. Yeah. Of course, when he was against Hillary Clinton, I mean, listen, come on, you just have to take the free shots when you're given them. People yeah. thought Hillary Clinton, though, was ultimately a politician, right? That's what people didn't like her. They thought she's a politician, uh, but as leftists go... Relatively moderate. You know, that's the thing with Hillary Clinton. Yeah. This idea she wasn't super. She wasn't. There was Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Trump, on the other hand, people also thought a lot of people think because he says bad words that he's somehow extreme. He was actually seen as really pretty moderate and not that conservative. So a lot of conservatives weren't big fans of Trump. As a matter of fact, I think you'll be surprised when you look at those voting blocks. Evangelicals voted for Trump because they had to, but not all of them. Probably, likely fewer in a lot of municipalities, but you saw a lot of union voters who would have typically yeah. gone Democrat, the blue dogs, go for oh, Donald yeah. Trump. Mm. So a lot of those people held their noses, though, the evangel the Christians, the true conservatives, and voted for Trump because Hillary Clinton was such an insufferable <laughs> That's really why. <laughs> but now in 2020, we're choosing between Donald Trump, who's been really pretty conservative, if you look yeah. at him as a president, outside of the, the trade issues. And pretty good. And all Democrats who has swung so far to the left, their right nut hasn't seen them in a month. God, <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> it's not that literal. Uh, we know they want abortion up to 40 weeks, 70% yeah. tax rates, as you just saw, completely socialized health care. They want to destroy our economy on principle versus Donald Trump, who has done well by nearly all metrics available to us at this point, besides tweeting mean words, some of which are misspelled, yeah. let's be honest. But outside of that, he's done pretty well. The choice in 2020, when they say it's stark, they're like, well, we think there's a stark contrast between the Democrats and Donald Trump. It is. But in a positive way for Trump, because these gifts that the Democrats keep giving him. So when Republicans say that we need to be more moderate, this is something people have to like, hey, listen, yeah. we need a more moderate Republican Party. We need to come yeah. to the middle. I go, hold on a second. Look how far the left is going. Don't stare a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, if you like this video, you know, you watch videos on YouTube. If I were Jimmy Kimmel, if I were Stephen Colbert or Trevor Noah, I would tell you to subscribe. But I have no corporate overlords who demand that I do this demeaning promo. I do the demeaning promo because I choose to. Subscribe or hit the notification bell because I need you. I need you. Please do it.